In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Windows 11 iOS file or download it from trusted source. So you join Insider, but you don't got the upgrade to Dave channel or beta build. Well, not to worry. Now you will get them right now. So all we are doing is creating ISO file ourselves, so you can trust yourself instead of downloading the leaked version of Windows 11. Well, let's get started. First thing is that you need to open up the Google Chrome and then you need to go to uupdump.net all right so this is a website that you need to visit but before going ahead there is also the problem on this website server so the problem of this website is that its server is not that good so you can get error anytime just like this so if you got error do not panic you can try it next day or some hour when it's available so let's create iso file right now so scroll down and you guys will see dave channel build okay so you can download any of them but i would recommend using this so click on x64 and then click on cumulative update for windows 11 and from here all you need to do is choose the language so i prefer english and click on next and from here you need to do is uncheck all of them and only choose the edition that you like to install i need to use windows pro now if you guys don't know what's your windows edition is simply easy so bring up the run box and from here all you need to do is type here winver and hit on enter and you will see that your windows 11 pro operating system or windows 10 pro operating system okay so it means that you have a pro version of windows install it so all you need to do is choose the specific edition that you have and click on next now you guys should be leaving this all on default okay because this is going to convert uh, the esd to win i think so so yeah you, you need to use this one okay the middle one and everything on default and then simply create download packages it's all fine so now it's downloading right now so all you need to do is show this in a folder so here guys once you have downloaded this all you guys need to do is right click here and extract this all all right now click on extract so once you guys have extracted this you don't want to open upp download windows right now because if you do you might get a problem just like i have like you can see that it's saying current directory contains spaces in its path so all you guys need to do is cut this file right i'm just going to cut this file from this menu now open your file explorer now go to any kind of drive that you have okay and this is going to work on c drive d drive e drive whatever drive you have make sure you have a um, more than a five gigabyte all right now open up here i'm gonna open this on c drive now paste this as you guys can see that we have moved this now open this file now double click on this batch file or command prompt file all right now it's going to ask you for the administrator prevalence click on yes and it's going to extract all of the script and download the windows 11 iso if not it's going to give you an error as well so let's see so after you have like wow 64 package.esd and if it's stuck on one person i would recommend you guys to hit an enter and there you go it started once again you can also keep checking your tax manager Alright, so it's been completed here. You can see that it's saying press zero to exit. But before that, you can see here. So last time there was the ISO folder. Now that ISO folder has been converted to uh, the real ISO file. Okay, so this is uh, the legit. Okay, the legal. Then you can trust yourself because you have built this yourself. All right and now you can close this so press zero to exit now we have been exit the command prompt all you guys need to do is mount this 
and you can see we have a setup it's completely working fine well there we go let's see that and here we have the windows 11 now you guys can create a bootable drive using rufus or you can upgrade if you wanted to so you can just mount and install this straight through so this took me more than an hour because first i need to download then after downloading all the parts it convert esd file to wim and then convert it again to one massive iso file so yes it's going to take a lot of time and note that guys do not use your computer in background because it's going to crash your computer or it's going to give you the corrupted file so so please make sure to leave your computer while this process is going on so check out this video if you like to upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 also leave a comment how much time it cost you and drop a like if you enjoyed or simply dislike it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in next one peace